What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Ten I can tell you is again, and um, I asked one of my uh, subscribers to uh, ask him. It's like, uh, can you come up with an idea, an idea for a good video? And he was surprised that I asked because I'm asking a fan hey man can you help me with the with the with the video idea and he came up with a good one it's like hey well, why don't you do a video about Facebook and Twitter beef I was like you know what I should do that there was your eye roll back in your toes girl I love it when you do that girl I'm sorry but and I thought to myself I said you know what He's right. I was like, I've noticed that a lot. A lot of people having beef. And, uh. I was like, I noticed that, that a lot of people do have beef on Facebook and Twitter. And not just those two, not just Facebook and Twitter. Not just Facebook and Twitter because I've been doing this for so long and I, I doing this for so long and I noticed over the years that it's not just Facebook and Twitter. This is also MySpace. Also like my it's like people say like MySpace nobody goes to MySpace. They still do. They still, I still go over there. I still upload videos over there, and uh, and I thought to myself, I said, "This guy's right." I'm glad that my uh, subscriber did uh, did that, gave me this idea. But I, like I said, I noticed that a lot. Same with YouTube. A lot of people beef over YouTube, beef over you, and it's funny that people beef on these sites over not the same with Tumblr like oh my god Tumblr and I'm, and I'm glad that my subscribers brought to this my attention and uh uh No, but it's like it's, it's like the people still be like to me. Why do people beef over these sites? Like, why do they beef? Like, what I mean is like, why do people beef over these sites? It's because it's the same routine every day. It's somebody bullying. It's just like back in the day when everybody was up on MySpace. Like, MySpace do shit shit, and everybody was beefing with each other oh fuck that I post up on Facebook I put a blog no, I'm not post on Facebook post on MySpace I did a blog on MySpace but da, 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 da. it's the same thing with Facebook and Tumblr and Twitter and YouTube he said okay don't you do the same thing I say yeah but some of the videos that I've done on YouTube is actually pointing something out I always say watch what you say and do over the internet and this is the reason why I'm doing this video because not just a subscriber saying this is bringing this idea of like hey won't you do it I'm doing this because he's no subscribers right there's been a lot of beef with, a, with people on these sites and and I question this every time like why do people beef so much on Twitter Facebook Twitter, like one thing is my my subscriber asked, uh, "Why not just do a video about uh, Facebook and t uh, Facebook and Twitter?" I said, "Okay." Then I started to realize that Tumblr and YouTube is the same damn thing. They go, they they have their shit too, their bees. And I could, like I said, I question why do people beef over internet sites? What what makes them? What makes them beef so? Like, why do people beef over the internet? Like, is it, it has it got to a point with the today's society? 
has today's society has been crippled by social media that they want to instead of do like they do back in the old days where as I was growing up we duked it out we do that we understand what we know what back when I was in high school we fought with our fists man we threw down we didn't have no fucking Facebook or Tumblr or, or Twitter or YouTube or MySpace cause I, like, I graduated in 2003 and we didn't fight like that we didn't go over there and fuck this hoe fuck this hoe fuck that bitch fuck this bitch no we didn't do that we was like hey I heard you talking shit to me nigga and then we fought we didn't sit up there and play these bullshit games that people play today on these social medias and people thinking that people thinking that's the best way to do but it's not it's not because a lot of people a lot of people a lot of people do this a lot of people do this because a lot of chicken shit that's saying in somebody's face and that's how it is like are you that fucking much of a coward to beef? And plus, it's not just the people on Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr or YouTube that's fighting. It's the companies that are fighting that's got beef too. Because it's kind of hard for them to get a lot of users if their site is this and that. But I, that's just competition. That's just business. It's just business. I understand that part. People like, oh, okay, that's just business. Yeah, I just said that. But like I said, is why do people are so why why is people so afraid of human contact? Why is people afraid of? Is it got to the point where that your life is so fucking pointless? that you gotta take it up on the internet and just dog everybody out I don't like this person who did I don't like you go, I know some of y'all gonna throw that back in my face that well you do it too but you gotta look at a standard point and my shit my shit comes from a standard point cause I look back and I watch the scenery people don't wanna do that people think okay I'm a beef and make somebody commit suicide on Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr or YouTube and that's not the best way to go is where people make people commit suicide over Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr or YouTube or MySpace it just gets to the point where I question the people's like okay like I question people's like is your life that fucking pointless it's like I say, what's going on in your life where you got to take it out on a complete stranger? For real. For real. Cause I'm sitting. There, Cause I say this because I know people go through a lot of shit in their real life and all this and that. But when you bring that shit up on social medias, it makes. You, it, I question because I question because people don't know how to handle the situation in real life so they take it out on people over the internet just to get a reaction when I talked about Rob Deerdeck people got butt hurt because I was talking about a celebrity they throw up and fight oh you don't know that know this guy well you don't know him too see what I'm saying you're talking to complete strangers on the internet complete strangers you don't know who who the fuck they are I always say watch what you're saying due to the over the internet because you don't know who the fuck you're talking to over the internet like uh, FBI agent CIA anybody like that you never know but but to sit here, I'm glad that today's subscriber that gave me that idea. Thank you so much. I can't remember your name right now, but thank you so much for giving me that idea. Thank you. I give credit where credit is due. I give credit where credit is due. But it's like this. It's not. It 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 just 
It just I question people. I question people like several of the videos I did, people was getting so butt hurt because I was talking about that site, this site, other site or questioning the people that's out there. It's like I question this person and people get so butt hurt because I'm questioning that person that they love so fucking much that they stalk, that they praise to like gods. Same with Facebook. Like people at like beefing over the internet is better is 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 better than sliced bread. Which is not. And uh, I, and, I, and I sit there and I see, it. like I did one video about this girl that was being a racist. I wasn't bullying her. I was pointing out that I didn't. I was showing. I had. I, I talked about how this. I wrote a status about President Obama. She got butt hurt and caught. Because in the stats I wrote, it's like, oh, if you get mad and butt hurt because what I posted in my status, then you are a racist. And she outed herself. I pointed it out to everybody. And she got butt hurt about it. I, it tells me, don't say, sh don't sit up there and get butt hurt because of what you, because what you thought I said. But it's like this, man. Why beef with completely complete strangers over the internet to people that you don't know I f it makes me feel bad for these people because I gave up a lot of that shit too myself because I'm, I'm tired of it I'm tired of it every time I get out of that shit people want to start beefing me like you did it's like motherfucker why are you dragging this shit to me but it's still it's still the same especially on YouTube still especially on YouTube People get so butt hurt and they'd rather beef over uh, over YouTube by leaving negative comments and it's it's because I'm because one thing is I want to ask the people who leave negative comments on it like they tell me shut the fuck up calling me niggers and shit and all this and that it makes me wonder did your daddy rape you or did your mama rape you somebody in your family must have molested you in your in your family. Or did somebody in your family get molested? Did you get did you get kicked out of your house at a young age? Did you start doing drugs at the age of thirteen? Did you get sold or did you get put in foster home? What the hell is your problem to make to take all that out onto people that you don't know? What is the malfunction with this shit? Because one thing is they're not going to answer it. All they're going to do is go straight back to that negativity and call me, shut, tell me shut the fuck up, call me a nigga and all this shit because they don't know what else to do but to do that shit. And that's all it is. Something in their mind is triggered where they want to dog somebody up because they're real like, they can't handle the real world. They can't handle the pain but I say to this I say to those people grow the fuck up grow a pair and take it like a fucking grown ass person instead of being such a bitch a pussy ass motherfucker a punk ass and beefing with people over the internet if you beef over the internet then you is less of a fucking adult that makes you a piece of shit a waste of space and that's all it is your life is useless if you beef more on the internet than you do in real life. If you beef more on the internet and beef with complete strangers because of what video they posted or because what tweet that they post or what they status said on Facebook or whatever they posted on my MySpace and you beef with them because of that, that tells me something that you're nothing but a piece of shit. You just dog shit on the bottom of my fucking shoe. And and people just don't know how to take this. They just want to get nasty. They just want to get nasty with this, and and it's like this. Like don't don't sit up and say, "Well, you call me this." If you say that, then you if you out like because one thing is I, I'm gonna say this: if you out yourself 
by the names I said in this video, then you are a piece of shit, a waste of space, dog shit on the bottom of the of America's shoe. That your life is worthless if you out yourself. And people, and I know for a fact there's going to be people doing that. I wonder how many people are going to out themselves in this video. Because they're going to leave comments out the ass. Nigger, nigger, nigger. Fuck you, fuck you. That's out yourself because you are a piece of shit. Or they're going to say, I'm not a piece of shit. I'm not worth it. Then you are if you answer to it. It's not what people, it's, it's like Medea said. It's not what people call you. It's what you answer to. So if I say you're a piece of shit, you're a scum of the earth, that you're, your life is worthless and you answer to that, then that's what you are, a piece of shit, a waste of space, a poor excuse for a human being. Or, if you leave negative comments, oh, fuck you too, motherfucker, and all this, you're still answering to it in a certain way. But it doesn't make, because one thing is, it makes you less than a person. That means I'm more of a, an adult than you are. See what I'm saying? It me, makes me more of an adult than you are because I haven't said no names. I haven't gave out no address. Nah, this and that. But that's how it is with people. And it's still that question. Why beef over social media? Why? Does any of the... Does the, does the suicide... The, the people that committed suicide, does that teach you anything? Does the suicide... The people that commit suicide because they've been bullied or beef been started with them. Did that teach you anything? I guess not when people continue to do it. I guess they rather see more people die over the internet than live. Because if that's all they're going to do is beef over the internet just to see how many people that can make commit suicide. Then you are a worthless piece of shit. And that's how I see it, man. Because I'm not going to sit up there and play fucking games for people. I pay my debt to, to societies. I was wrong sometimes. But I'm, at least I'm man enough to claim it. But it got, it's getting to a point where that's all people can do on the internet. It's beef. The internet can, use for, can be used for fun. But the internet can be deadly. Like I say, the internet is your smoking gun and it can be used against you. Because one thing is, remember that Manitoba story? The Manitoba story. What happened? The guy had pictures of her of her breast. Look who got look who gave out his information. Anonymous. And they showed and once they did that, once they found out who it was and the police went and got him, they found the smoking gun in his house. Those photos on his computer. He's been arrested for child pornography. See what I'm saying? It takes one person to, to do something wrong. It takes one person to do something wrong. And I just, it just, it's just something else for me to see people do that. That all they get out of is, all they get out of is seeing people commit suicide. They get a laugh, they get the rocks off. Seems like if a guy, if a guy commits, a, bullies a girl and she commits suicide, He's masturbating to that shit. He think, oh, she's dead. Ah, let me skeet on her face. That's how I see it. That they love that. They, that they nut. Seems like a guy will nut if they see the girl commit suicide. Same with the girl. They will just bust a coochie lip to see somebody commit suicide. Every day, man. The kids are committing suicide because they're beefing over the fucking internet on Facebook on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or MySpace or Tumblr. It's always gonna be beef no matter what no matter what. No matter what. And that's how I see it. 
You can never like like for real one thing is if you think beefing with somebody over the internet makes you feel like an adult, then you're fucking wrong. Living your life to the fullest makes you makes you a grown ass person. Makes you makes you a person. Living life to the fullest. Like get the fuck off the internet shit. Like I always tell people, if you don't like what I have to say about my videos, then you don't have to watch them. Why watch them? Why sit up there and put your two cents in if you don't like what the fuck I got to say? It makes me question them too. Why you care about what I say and but hate on me because what I say is true? I know it's freedom of speech, but it comes to the point where you have the right to either watch my shit or not. But you always like, but people always make the wrong choice. He's a motherfucker. I don't want to watch this shit. Then why leave a comment? That's the question. Why leave a comment if you hate my shit so much, my video so much? There'll be people starting beef on YouTube. Just watch the assholes, the waste of space, and all this assholes, waste of space, piece of shit. Dog shit on America shoe. Write a comment saying "Go fuck yourself" or calling me negative names or something like that. Those are your asshole, the waste of space, and they're gonna out themselves. I'm gonna have so many people out themselves on this video that you that nobody can stand it because that's all they wanna do is out themselves because they ain't got nothing else to do. That's all they got. They ain't got nothing else to do. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe Tendler. Like a T.I.S. again. Because I always keeps it real. And uh, just follow me on Twitter. Afro Joe the Wookie. You gonna probably find me on. You probably saying why are you watching me like. But follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Because my Tumblr is going to be in my description box. So is my Twitter. And. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. Peace, love, and Afro Greece, man. Treat everybody like you treat your mama with respect. If you don't like love your mama, then go choke yourself, motherfucker. Well, don't go choke yourself. Then go to church. Get some help. Peace, love, and Afro Greece.